Okay, let's run it. All right. Today is Monday, May 22nd, 6.34 p.m. This is the Recreations and Parks Committee. We have Councilperson Martin, Councilperson McNamara, and myself, Councilperson Cameron, present. Um, all right. I'm hoping uh, to have a pretty quick meeting tonight. I don't have a ton of stuff. I feel like the ton of stuff is surrounded by us. Yeah, yeah, we're surrounded by the ton of stuff. For the past few months, but I'm kind of give you some updates. You can see the new chairs, obviously. It we looks haven't great. Seen them before. We have the sun shades up. Beautiful. Um, we've gotten a lot of good comments on, on them so far. Um, you can see John put some picnic tables under it. These tables will end up going under as well. And then we have plenty of chairs for them to go around these tables. I think Excellent. We have eight, eight tables and we have 40 chairs. So they'll all be brand new. Nice. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Yeah. And then, what you looking at, Jacob? All the nice chairs. Oh, yeah. So the pool got painted. That finished up this morning. Water goes in Wednesday morning, starts to go in Wednesday morning. No kidding. Yeah. Wow, I'm ready to rock and roll. This is looking, it's looking real good. Yeah. You, can, you can see we repainted all the tables, even this one, the posts got repainted. Uh, Kitty pool was drained, ready to, to be filled up. Uh -huh. um, we have had an issue with that lifeguard platform has rusted out, so we do have to get that platform replaced. Yeah, and, I can see it's bent. Yeah, so. Okay. We, we got that ordered today. Well, that that's not going to break the bank, I can't imagine. Uh, it's about seven hundred dollars just for the platform. Yeah, that's that more expensive pretty, than I thought. Yeah, that one was pretty rusty. We're going to do both of them. Okay. Nice, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh. Buy once, cry once. Right. <laughs> um, we have some new signage coming over here, so we have new restroom signs. We have some signs for out front that talk about renting the pool. Ooh, I like that. Um, and then. Of course, the concession stand. I took David on a tour just a minute ago. Jacob, you've seen it. Beautiful. Um, so a lot of work out here. Uh, I think we are ready as long as the pool fills up. <laughs> In time, yeah. Yeah. For Memorial we Day be, weekend, huh? We should be good to go, and we'll be ahead of last year by two days. <laughs> um, nice. So yeah, we also are introducing mobile ordering for the concession stand so nice. you'll be able to order from your phone and pay for your food and then you'll get an alert when your food's ready. Um, Pools in the 21st century. I know. You deserve, Jason, you deserve so much credit for everything <laughs> well, that you have just envisioned out here. Yeah. It's, it's been a little bit of work. Um, register systems are up and running. I'm going to do training Wednesday night for the office staff. We've hired four concession stand workers. I think we have six that we budgeted for, so two more we're looking for. I might have one of them. We'll see. Um, so yeah, things are going well. We did get our food license this past week. Uh, the only condition we had is that we don't have hot water in the bathroom, um, which she did not tell us about when she was out here. So, but we're good there. Okay. I think that's the major stuff here. Anyone have any questions on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, excellent. Just absolutely excellent. I mean, just... Now you just need to get membership. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> come out here and enjoy it. You can turn to a cinder. <laughs> oh, come on. You'll be fine. <laughs> you slather enough lotion on you, you'll be fine. Um, okay, so... Beds, you know, not a time to talk about the beds around the village. Those have been maintained, taken care of. Um, they looked good from what I saw. The entrances looked good. I think next year it would be a good idea for us to start to address replacing some of the dead plants that are in them um, and getting those cleaned up. So oh, We got the list. Yeah, yeah we have the list. Um, hopefully we can make them a little bit uniform, maybe add some color to them, some um, annual plants that will add some color. And yeah, annuals are fine too. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see more of these over here. Yeah. I'm not saying no. We just we started with something. But it would be nice to have some more of them. Are we doing the shuffleboard over here? I was trying to get the shuffleboard done, but um, we have 
So to, to, the option is to hand paint the shuffle on it or to buy a stencil. Uh, all the stencils I saw were around three hundred fifty dollars. No, you can reuse them. So for a you, stencil? No, you can reuse them. So you know, you pay for it once, you use it for all of them. Um, but I was hoping to have the shuffle boards up and running. We do have checkers back here. That's what that box is. So it's a, I mean, not checkers. It's a giant Connect Four game that we're putting out here. We got a new tether ball for the tether ball. I'm trying to get, um, still trying to get cornhole. Are these lights working again? Some of them work. Yeah. Most of them don't. That's why these are here. Mm -hmm. Installed those because it was easier. You know, Wonderful. Think, everyone's trying to, you know, I think we're all trying to, we put in the money that we have to, and anything that, anything that we can take with us to a new pool, you know, that's kind of where we're... Yeah, we don't want to... Everything we don't, else, we're trying not to put a lot of money into yo, it. Yeah, we don't want absolutely massive investments in this current structure right. as it stands. Yeah, if we're planning to remove it, so... So I think, you know, repairing the lights is not one of those things that we do because we have lights. No one does night swimming, really, except if you have a party, but... Yeah. Know, we would pass at that point. Have we thought about making flyers and stuff like that, maybe? For, like, say, for parties outside the neighborhood? Or do we so, want to be more catered towards parties that are residence oriented in the neighborhood? Th well, both. Both? Yep. We'll have a sign, we have an A-frame sign that we're going to have that people can scan the QR code and actually register from their phone here at the pool. Same thing for birthday parties, if they want a, the birthday party while the pool's open, they can do that. Um, we gave flyers. Uh, we put a flyer in all the kids at, I think, both Hawthorne and Mary Francis, so they all got information about our pool. That was smart. Yeah. yeah. I, I believe they've done it every year, but now that we have two elementary schools, they've done it Here it is. Nice. Yeah. Um, should we have a discussion about... Um, mulching the trees. Let's talk mulch. Yeah. So, I know Ryan Brink came to our meeting the other day. He would like to see them mulched um, and made a case for them. I think, I think there are some studies that show mulching is good for the trees. That's my understanding as well. Um, I have tried to reach out to Blending Gardens and have not heard a response yet. Uh, for them, just to kind of get their opinion, especially since they planted the trees. Um, the, I, you know, being a resident of the MI section, I always like that look um, of having them mulched. I think uh -huh. the one thing now, though, as I drove through the neighborhood, and, the, and I would encourage you guys both to do it too at some point, is that um, it's not, the trees are not mulched consistently when it's on someone's property. You know, uh -huh. when, it's a, when it's attached to the front of their house on the street line, some of them have chosen to continue the mulching, some, some of them have not. stopped, some of them have changed it to stone, some of them have gone with red mulch instead of the black mulch that was originally installed, so there's mm. not a consistency. Mm. Um, well, wasn't he only referring to village owned? He, he was, he was. I have to be honest with you, I'm not versed in such a matter, um, such as Mr. Brink was, or you guys for that matter. So I don't I don't really know what to say about that. Yeah. I'm sorry. He definitely seems very knowledgeable. Um, yeah, he was absolutely, he was being very like, much truthful. The mulch, to the best of my knowledge and understanding, is a environmental benefit and... Provided it wouldn't be wildly cost prohibitive, I, I do think that that would be something we should factor into our, mm -hmm. um, you know, year to year maintenance. Yeah. At least on the village owned trees. If you have a, if you have a tree on your own property and you like red mulch, or if you have a tree on your own property and you like, um, you know, stone or what have you, or native ground cover, by all means. But I, I do think that it would be yeah. a good idea. I know Ryan is a really smart guy and. Take heed of what he said. I don't, you know. Yeah. Um, man, this pool's gonna look sharp this year, you guys. 
So I think the I think the question is going to be how do we do it? I know the the reason we haven't done that um, is just the maintenance, the the staffing, because during the summer it's all hands on deck for cutting grass. Mm -hmm. um, although mulching can be an early spring activity before the grass really gets. Mm -hmm. That'd we be can, what I'd assume. Mm -hmm. We can look and get some ideas and costs, yeah. and then what direction. Yeah. That way we have options available. Well, I think uh, what I would recommend is that we, um, especially if we get that maintenance structure put up, is that we just get a truckload of mulch and use it. And just do it, yeah. You know, for mulching here, John just went and got those five-dollar bags on sale, or you know whatever. I think he went to Ohio Mulch down here. Yeah. Just loaded up on, you know, 20, 30 bags. And I don't know if that's the best way to do that. And we still have spots throughout the village that yeah. we are mulching ourselves. There's a few gardens that the landscaping company is not touching. Mm -hmm. so, well, I'm sure, I'm sure we could get a decent bulk deal yeah. rather than buying by the bag. I mean, it's not like it's, it'll be wildly expensive. I mean, yeah, it'll cost money for the volume we'll need, but it shouldn't be... Again, I'm, I'm not... I'm not well versed enough to know what the price of mulch is right now off the top of my head, but I, do, I don't believe it to be, infe uh, you know, unfeasible. It's much, much cheaper when you do get it in bulk and right. they can drop it off like right. a dump truck. And if we had one day, uh, eventually, eventually a tractor could help mm -hmm. do the whole neighborhood ourselves. Yeah, well, it's not, there's nothing saying that we can't load it in the back of our pickup truck that we already have and go around and, but loading it in the truck is the issue right now. Going back to the the mulch in the new section, I would like to see that mulch being universal, like the color at least, and not having rocks and alternating. Well, we can't really do anything I, about that if it's on someone's private property, but the, the oh, street oh, ones, absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's the one yeah. I, was, I was referring to. Um, that way it's uniform on village property. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I think we would go with that black color like we've done everywhere else. That looks good. Yeah. It looks really good here. Yeah. And I mean, even the entrances, you know, they all look pretty sharp with the, with the black. You can tell yeah. that they've been mulched and that they've been taken, yeah. taken care of. So. Yeah, I would, I would recommend mulching become the spring task rather than try to do it in the summer. That'd be most logical to me. So I think as we get into budget talks in the fall, we need to make sure we have that inside the budget. Yeah, I, I believe barring any changes, I believe this committee can favorably report out and recommend mulching okay. as part of our typical, um, you know, spring maintenance program. I mean, there's, let's see what the other two, three committee members, uh, not committee council members say, but... Yeah, okay. Um, what else do we have? The um, concrete's been poured uh, for the shelter. Excellent. So, it looks nice. I walked past it. Yeah, you walked past it? I walked, I was on a walk the other day, but I didn't get quite that far down, so that's, that's good to know. Yeah, I so, thought it'd be a lot bigger, to be honest with you. It's 20 by 30. It yeah. just looks when you're driving yeah. by. And then, um, and then we're going to get um, some pretty heavy-duty metal picnic tables for inside. I think nice. six of them is what we're planning to order. Nice. Uh, so that should help with vandalism because they're too heavy really to lift. Yeah, yeah. Um, i trying to think what else. Oh, so we do have... Well, June, the first week of June is supposed to, or weekend in June is supposed to be diversity week. I have not done a ton with that. Oh, yeah. um, I have not either. Um, council, former, former council person trusted it's an excellent work by that last did. year. Um, I'm almost wondering if, um, I'd like to get your thoughts on it actually moving over to the services committee as an option, since this is no longer called com community. It might fit under there, which is you, JP. Oh. <laughs> you taking the lead on that, um, rather than this committee. 
That sounds just, logical just to me. Thoughts, yeah. Just, we could do what we did last year. Something yeah. kind of like creative like that. -ish. A lot of the stuff from last year is still posted on the site. So we still have all the flags posted on the site. You know, all right. Remember, because we talked about, or one of the things was you post a, you print a flag of the country of your nationality and you post it in your front window. That's a brilliant idea. And then there was a booklet <laughs> that people would yeah. go around and say, hey, I saw this flag. Um, yeah. So all that still posted, the booklet still posted. Um, I like that. I was hoping we could do, and this is not my expertise, so social media is not my forte, but I was kind of hoping we could do something where we ask people to, to send in a video, like a TikTok or Instagram reel kind of thing that says why they enjoy the diversity of Minerva Park. I can see that. Clip. Yeah, just something really we short. Add it all together and at the end. That people post and, and send in and then we post them on the, on the site. Yeah. Do you know what would be fun? So... The little kids would be the ones, you know, predominantly going around mm -hmm. doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, full disclosure, I'm a coin collector. Mm -hmm. um, there is a couple different coin shops around. The, the one, again, I, this is, you know, for whatever ethics and transparency laws apply in the state of Ohio. Um, I'm a fan of Allen's Coin Shop right up the road. And they have a tub or a container full of world coins that are like, like a couple bucks a pound. So if we grabbed, you know, a pound or two of that, it'd be like, what, like 10 bucks? I forget exactly how much their price is. But we get, you know, if they, when they come to the community building at the end, when they're done with stuff, we could give them a handful of that or just oh. from, from all over the world. Oh, yeah, and again, it, it'd be pretty cheap. It'd be a fun little way to get kids, you know, these are from that country. Yeah. I mean, and again, within, you know, this is not a sponsor. This is, a, I am not endorsed by Allen's Coins. It's just the local... <laughs> close by one. I don't know who's going to be listening to this someday, but... Right, right. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah, I mean, that'd be... Yeah. JP, any thoughts? That's, that's good. I'm taken away by the, uh... I know, you don't turn your Yeah, you just keep looking. It. <laughs> it's... Bob the Builder over here. <laughs> it's just sad, I don't know. Sure. Um... Okay, what else does this committee do? I feel like that's... I think we're honestly good. Like, yeah. yeah. So, cool. Anything future-wise? Like, like, this committee is very heavy in, in like, December to yeah. now, and then it kind of backs off, so... Well, we're going to be focusing a lot on the pool come this summer as those reports come out, recommendations, right. and myself, and I'm sure... I'm sure some of the, you know, the big environmentalist players around here will be more involved wanting to attend, and that is honestly fine by me. Yeah. Um, Are we going to get a grill by the uh, shelter? Uh, I think there's, like I think a, we've talked about how the Boy Scouts installed one over here, about yes. trying to see if they can do the same thing. Now, that was an Eagle project for an someone, Eagle, yeah. Okay, yeah. Brilliant idea. Yep. Because we do have the grill that's over here somewhere, or the grill that... It was yeah. right there last year when I was frying it up on it, but... It through the winter, but it's around here somewhere. Yeah. That people can use. Um, so, I don't think you guys are aware of this. The MSKS came out. MKSK? MK, whatever they are. The engineering company. Yeah. <laughs> came out again two weeks ago, maybe? I did not they know they were out here. again. They met us here. They really wanted to talk with John and Tim Patterson from Patterson Pools and just kind of say, hey, tell me tell me what issues you have with this pool. They wanted to see the pump house specifically. Um, oh, which has a new roof on it, by the way. I see that. Yeah. Um, I noticed that. The gutters still have to be put on, but it does have a new roof. They're not going to put the awning back over on this side? No, they're going to leave it like it is. Um, the part of that insurance money from the awning helped pay for that new roof. Um, but they did look at our, our facility and we kind of had some talks and, you know, they said, they made some recommendations already. One of the things they said was when they build pools now, they don't, the pool sits up higher uh, because um, the water then runs away from the walls of the pool, which helped them last longer. Hey, look, filled dirt. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but right now, our pool kind of sits on low, which is why the water's coming towards it and rotting the all around, yeah, it from the outside in. Probably on that side more because of the big right. trees. Yep, and we have that dip over there with fresh Let's see water. It. Uh, so they did talk about that. They unfortunately said our pump house building will not work for the equipment for. Oh, I believe pool. that. <laughs> uh, it's just not big enough to house the equipment needed. Yeah, so it's not it's not something. worth doing any massive renovations to it then. Right. So I'm fine letting that be as it is. Uh, and I don't know if I told you all, but I did take a tour of the Athens pool, which is one that they built. Yeah, you did. Um, it's pretty amazing. I spent about an hour and a half down there. Got to go through all the buildings, ask them, ask the director. I said, what do you like? What don't you like? Uh, one of her things that she talked about was... Um, that takes 10 lifeguards all the time on duty for them to operate that pool. That's crazy. Because That's of the many. way it spread out. And if you remember from that presentation, that was the pool that they talked about, the that narrow transition between the lap lanes and the dive well. Yeah. And how, you know, that was water that is less, it's more efficient to operate it because it's water that people don't swim in normally. Um, that transition space. Yeah, yeah. However, everyone wants to swim in it at the pool. And because of the way uh, it's pretty deep, and the way the angles, they have to have lifeguards on either side of that little space. Just to, because the kids like to jump off of it. It's it's not wide. It's probably it's probably eight, nine feet wide, maybe ten feet it's wide. It's kind of like so having they, one of these in the middle, basically. So they jump off of it, they swim to the edge, they climb out of the pool because there's ladders there as well. They jump back in. You know, it's kind of that cycle over and over again, so they have to staff that. Um, the slide takes two people to staff it. One person at the top, one person at the bottom. And we ever do anything. I would really like to incorporate that property back over to the pool. Yeah. And make this bigger. That's could. all part of it. Part of it. Um, I'll good, tell you, um, you gotta be gentle with those trees, though. Those are some old no, trees. No, of course we leave those be, but just make sure they're good and yeah, healthy. Yeah, I don't think know? anyone's looking to touch yeah. the trees. I will show no, you something. No. That and that was never my belief that that was the intent. We were actually talking about uh, with a resident the other day. Um, there used to be a tree here, and it used to be kind of a famous tree in the sense that this is the tree where all the cool kids kind of hung out. It was a huge, like how big that one is. It wasn't as tall, but it was very, you know, wild, very yeah. shady, yeah. So having this here is very nice to kind mm -hmm. of make up for that missing tree that was there. Um, you know, I always, I appreciate when, uh, if we can incorporate the history of our village. Oh my goodness, yes. And um, so when I was on vacation last week, um, the hotel I stayed at was called Boardwalk. Yeah. And this is their slide that they have. It looks like a wooden roller coaster. Hmm. And, uh, we never park ha um, and because we yeah. used to be an amusement park, That's brilliant. I thought, well, that would be pretty cool. Indeed, it would be. That would have that look to it. Um, for, you know, it's really tranquil being. It's all tranquil being out here, like the birds. And Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> we're, not, we're not putting animals out here. No, like it's, it's, it's tranquil, like hearing the birds oh, the being tranquil. outside. Yeah. The sound. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, I like that idea of the slide yeah. incorporating yeah. that the history of Monroe Park into this. Maybe have uh, maybe have some striped, uh, you know, yeah. good tent looking things. Like, I would. I could definitely see that. Nineteen uh, twenties kind of boardwalkish kind yeah. of. That's uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it'll kind of yeah. It'll it'll cost more money than just plain canvas and you know plain colors. But I mean, you know, money's a tool, and we can balance out you know how much we want to go in one way or another. I definitely would support yeah. the need, you know, the desire for I, I think the some heritage. Yeah, that you yeah, do that would yeah. The effect some things with paint, you know, you know paint's not yeah. expensive. But you know how they make um, some of these modern pools when you look at them, they look kind of. I don't want to use the word soulless, but they're kind of industrial. Mm -hmm. Like having things like teakwood island instead of concrete, like mm -hmm. that way water flows over it and it's more natural, kind of, although you can slip on that. Mm. Um, just a thought. Yeah. I mean, I think, <laughs> I, think I, don't, I don't know what it's going to look like, you know? Uh, yeah, and I don't want to. 
I don't want to totally impose my views on it because no. I'd like, I'd like, it, I'd like it to run efficiently. You know, I'd like it to um, kind of maintain some of the qualities that this pool has that people like. Yeah. The openness of this. The, you know, I can see my kids from anywhere I lay out around here. I like the layout, the whatever this L or not even L, it's like a weird. Yeah, that's kind L. of lightning bolt Z shape. Z, yeah. So, yeah. So I think you know we refer to the experts. Uh, yeah, that was that was an issue that um, oh, lost my train of thought. Well, anyways, let's just think. You know, you were, we were talking about elements, right? So yeah, you know, if uh, if we put in a splash pad, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the splash pad is going to cost us the same if it has a flower or if it has a clown and an elephant, right? Because you're paying for the probably feature. yeah. So, you know, that's where you get those amusement park looking items without paying a ton of extra money, right? Team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be that'd so be perfectly feasible to work it in, yeah. water out of its snout, its trunk, as part of the water feature. Yeah, that'd be perfectly Instead reasonable. Of a giant flower that's shooting water out of the stem kind of thing. Perfectly reasonable. Um, also want to keep it timeless yeah. as possible. Well, I think that's why we. I think that's why we honor the history of the park. Going back to the twenties era. The, or the you know all those photos we have of when this used to be an amusement park. We kind of take those looks. So that's why think about that water slide. That was a wooden water slide, right? Yeah. So if we if our water slide has that wooden look to it, we could even call it the same thing. Even the diving board frames can kind of carry over that look. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, and there's little things that we can have those. Cutouts with the, you know, those where you put your face through the thing. And yeah, why not? Bathing suits on it and things like yeah. that. Yeah, you know? I can see that. Things that you can do that um, create that. I love the light ambiance, like you know, in its heyday, mm -hmm. when you seen all the lights in the pool at like dusk mm -hmm. and all these lights lit up. Mm -hmm. um, and some were different colors. You can control them, whatever. And I don't know what you know in the, in the early '80s, it was like the coolest thing. And it really did add like a nice. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could get like those little modern uh, Edison light bulbs, so to speak, like on a, on a string, and kind of yeah. add to that. That's more of the modern thing nowadays than floodlights. But actually, that's not a bad idea to add over there. That's what I was just yeah. thinking when you yeah. mentioned that. I was like, hey, well, yeah. we've about, I've actually talked about that. Mm -hmm. putting in those. Uh, I forget the name of them, but there's a term for like those tea lights or something, yeah. right? Yeah, teacup lights. I don't think tea cup. I think it's nope. called tea lights, but I might. I, I, I can easily say. They kind of glow to them, very nice and soft, and yeah. it just looks really nice. And you see them at bars and nice places yep. like that at night. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little ivy kind of. Yeah, it would be great for um, uh, trumpet honeysuckle. Would be uh, the ivy you'd want. Mm. Red flowers, hummingbirds love it. You know, this was Grand Park in its heyday was a very swanky, ritzy kind of place to be. Mm -hmm. And even, like, the way it looks now, this is kind of ritzy. I mean, it's getting there, you know, like, 1960-ish. Yeah. <laughs> but. Oh, I think we're. Improvements. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I don't think I have anything else. So you'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All right, let's then all are in favor. And we got to